That's whatever happens. Well, now having your own uh, website or blog on the internet has been around for a while, but one blogger in North Lincolnshire has been capturing world attention. Polly the dog has had more than 5,000 hits from people wanting to know about her travels, her videos and her photos. Simon Spark has been to find out more. Meet Polly. She loves to play like any other dog. But when she's finished and settled, she doesn't just go to sleep like any other dog. She contemplates what she's going to tell her 5,000 fans. Because Polly's a dog with a blog. Here she is writing her latest edition now. Some of you have asked why the camera loves me so much. I've been told it's a mixture of bone structure and genetics. I think it has something to do with me being so very cute. Today it was bike ride day, something she really enjoys and no doubt will blog about, adding to her many other travels. Polly, when did you start the blogging? OK, here's the truth. Polly doesn't actually do the blogging. It's her owner, David, who by chance wasn't available today, so his wife, Lynn, told us everything. Well, I can't believe anybody outside the family is reading what, <laughs> what Polly does. <laughs> it was basically for our amusement, and uh, it, just, it just got bigger. 40% from the UK, 40% from America, and then there's places like China, Canada, Korea, so it, so it goes on. It's really bizarre, isn't it? Really bizarre. I can't even believe I'm talking about it. Well, actually, it's not as bizarre as you think. For example, George W. Bush's dog, Barney, had his own video blog. And he did the Christmas decorations at the White House, apparently. Celebrate America? That's a great way to spend our last holiday here in the White House. Then there's Pudsy the Dancing Dog, who also tweets to 44,000 followers. But David Cameron's cat, Larry the Tabby, has fewer than 2,000 followers. So, Polly, it looks like your blogs are already more popular, and it doesn't look like they'll be stopping soon. Good job. You are so very cute, after all. Simon Spark, BBC Look North, Hawkstow. <laughs> news uh, now just a reminder of course if you've got a story that you'd like to uh, tell us about that we can uh, send our cameras to then uh, drop us an email give us